When we talk about digital downloads, a lot of people's minds first go to wall art. When I first wanted to create a digital download shop, in fact, that was the first thing that I started creating. The problem is, is when it's top of mind for everybody, that means a lot of people are going to be competing with you. So today I'm going to be unveiling a different digital download that is extremely similar to wall art, but not wall art at all. And it has only been growing in searches year after year after year. And then later in today's video, we're even going to go make some ourselves. When I open this listing here, you might be telling me, um, Christina, that's wall art, but that's not how it's being marketed. In fact, it's being marketed as a frame TV art. And what is that? There's a new trend. I've seen a bunch of my friends starting to get these of getting these TVs that look like hanged art. And so when it is not playing your TV, you can have art up on it. So it just looks like a regular art piece around your house instead of just looking like your TV. In fact, if you come over to Google trends and you put in the keyword TV frame art, you can see that year over year, we are getting an increasing demand for this type of art. And scrolling down, we can find other keywords like Samsung frame art TV, Samsung frame art, Samsung TV art. And you can see that these are all in breakout, which means they are drastically increasing in searches right now. And coming into Etsy, if I go and use my Everbay extension and under the keyword frame TV art, I'm going to sort by monthly sales. And we can see some people are making hundreds of monthly sales with just one design. Some people are selling in bulk, but in fact, some of the top sellers are selling these 400 times a month and they're just one single easy to make design, which we're going to make together. And another thing that I love to see here is you can see that all of the best sellers in this type of keyword are all decently new to Etsy with having been listed all within the last year, some of them even within the last six months. But you might be saying, okay, great. Well, I have no clue how to create these. Well, we're gonna go make a bunch of them together right now. And to do this, I am gonna be using Mid Journey because I'm able to get some really, really good detailed prompts using Mid Journey. And then we're going to connect our Mid Journey with Discord because Discord is the platform that Mid Journey operates within. Once you've created your Mid Journey account and you've downloaded Discord to just set up, you're gonna go to Discord, we're gonna hit add a server, you're gonna hit join a server, and then you just have to type in Mid Journey and then hit join server. Once you're in Mid Journey, you are going to need to pay for the Mid Journey server. If you have not done it yet, you can type in under one of the newcomer rooms, you can type in dash, subscribe. And then this is going to bring you to a page that allows you to manage your mid journey subscription. Once you've hit manage account, it's going to bring you here where you're able to upgrade your plan. And because we are using this for commercial use, you are going to be needing to pay for at least the basic. I am subscribed to the standard plan because I like it to create my prompts quicker. And I just make quite a bit using mid journey every single month. So you can start with a basic plan and then upgrade as you see needed. And now once you are in here, you also don't want everyone to see all your prompts. So we're going to create a private room so that we don't have to see everyone else's prompts and they don't have to see ours. So to that, we're going to hit add a server again. We're going to go to create my own. You can do for me and my friends, name it as you would like mid journey. We're going to hit create. And now I'm actually going to go back to the mid journey public server. And then on the side here, you're going to see team and we're going to see mid journey bot. And we're going to click on the name of mid journey bot. We're going to hit the plus where it says add app. And then we're going to go to add to server. And then we're going to add it to that new server we had just created and then hit continue. We're going to give it pretty much all the access, hit authorize. And now once it's completed, we're going to go to server and to just give it a test, we can hit dash open. Let's just do our settings. Then once you hit enter, this should pop up. Now we know the mid journey bot is working within our new server and now we can start creating prompts privately. So coming back into Etsy, just taking a look at what's doing really well right now, we're seeing these type of vintage oil painting style photos do really well. And that's because they're also doing really well on wall art. And again, while this is not wall art, it is going to appeal to the same people because it appears as wall art. So coming back into Etsy, let's decide what type of designs we are going to make with AI. And scrolling down, I can see a lot of the ones that have the popular now have to do with florals. They have to do with rabbits. They have to do with greenery. And that's because spring is coming up and people do buy with the seasons. That's the great part about TV art is that they can change it 
seasonally. They can change it as often as they would like. They don't just have one printed piece of paper that's gonna stay up on their wall the whole month. This skiing one here is doing extremely well right now, but that's because it's still cold out. But I'm gonna guess it was probably doing better a month or two ago, and it's probably tapering off around now. But still, what I'm seeing are things that are really popular in people's homes for wall art are still doing well for this digital frame art because it's appearing in the same type of environment. Whatever is trending for home decor is going to be trending for these TV frames as well. And we see this vintage kind of oil painting doing really well. Even though it's digital, people still want it to feel like a painted picture. So coming back, what I'm gonna be typing is forward dash, imagine, and now I'm going to put in my prompt. So I've put oil painting, pastels, Springfield with a bunny, vintage with brush strokes. I've also made sure that still my stylize is set to high in my settings. This just ensures that we are getting a lot of detail because we want a lot of detail in these photos. If we want it to be more simple, we could go with stylized low or stylized medium. And right now we are on version six of Mid Journey. There are a bunch of different other versions that we can try if we don't get the results we want with v6 but i'm just going to give it a go with this and another thing i added at the very end of our prompt here is dash dash ar 16 9 and this is the aspect ratio this is the aspect ratio that most people are setting for these frame designs because that is generally the size and the proportions of the samsung frame tv which is seems to be the most popular one right now so these are four different versions that i got here and i really like the look of these the first one though did not give me a bunny which i asked for sometimes you'll notice it doesn't quite listen to everything you asked for but then you just re-roll it again and hope to get better results. And if there's any in here that you're like, okay, I like this, but I want it slightly different, then what you can do is use the buttons below here. We have U1 and V1. U means you like it, you want to upscale it. Top left is U1, top right is U2, bottom is U3, and then bottom right is U4. But Say I really like this third one here, but I wanna see it slightly different than what I can do is hit V3 and it's going to spit back four new options that are based off of this one. And now here are the four other versions it gave me, slightly different flowers and you can see the bunny has changed a bit. And the one I like, which I think is the cutest and also still the most like correct to what I think a bunny looks like is this third one here. And if we take a look at it and zoom in, you're gonna see that there's actual textures to this. It looks like it was painted with a brush, but subtly. So what I'm gonna do is now I'm going to upscale U3, and then I actually think I want to upscale it again. I want this to be high quality for when my people use it because this is going to be going on a large screen. So I'm going to be hitting upscale and I'm going to just do upscale creative. And once it's done upscaling, now you're gonna have a higher quality version of this download. And now take a look, this is what it's going to look like. Again, zooming in, we're gonna see brush strokes. We're gonna see a lot of detail because that is the prompts that we had asked for. And now I'm going to right click I'm gonna save image as and save it in a way that I'm gonna remember. But before we move on, let's go over some other examples of what we can create in Mid Journey here. So I've kind of put in the same prompt. I liked the oil painting we had in. I liked with brush strokes, but now I found this one was a little bit bright. Now I wanna go with some muted colors and I'm gonna be changing my theme. I'm not going for spring or bunny anymore. Instead, I'm gonna be asking for four or five different prompts here. Floral field, mountains, forest, ocean, ski hill. And to do this, I just put these brackets in here. I put floral field, comma, mountains, comma, forest, and you can add as many as you would like here. And then once I hit enter, I'm gonna get this and I'm going to confirm that, yes, this is what I was looking for. And now with just one prompt, we can see that we got five different jobs that are currently being worked on. And now that these have all loaded, looking through these, I have got so many beautiful designs that I can list right now. All four of these are beautiful. I really like these bottom two. I've seen ones like this selling on Etsy in this niche. Scrolling down, I'm loving this last mountain one I created here and probably this top one as well, I would upscale. I'm loving all four forests that this spat back to me and the ocean as well. This one is incredible in love with the first one here and the last one. And coming down to our ski hill, loving all four, I will probably save all four and list them. Once we have the designs that we want to sell, we need to actually make 
photos that make these look realistic. And one thing that I'm noticing is a lot of people are using pretty much a very, very similar mock-up. So I'm going to try one mock-up that's been working for everybody else. And maybe I'm gonna try one other mock-up that is slightly different so that I'm sticking out from the competition and seeing which one works out best for me. So now in the Etsy search bar, I'm gonna add the word mock-up at the end for Frame TV Art Mock-up and we're going to hit enter. And one thing you're going to notice is this one here is a bestseller. A lot of those people who have best-selling frame art are using this mock-up here or they're using these ones right here. These ones match exactly. So you can buy these and you can create a version of your design that it looks like it's already on one of these TVs. For me, again, I would try one of these ones that's doing well for other people, but I also might download one like this one right here and give this one a try and see if this helps me stick out from the competition. So once you've picked out your two mock-ups, you can go ahead and buy them now and then download them and then open these up in Canva. Now, once you bring in your design and you bring in the mock-up, they should align perfectly because even the mock-ups are the same aspect ratio of 16 by nine. And that's also how we created our design. So you shouldn't need to resize this at all. And now you can just rename this and look, it's just the photo and I've laid on top my design here and I'm just gonna make sure they align right. And then I'm gonna hit share, download, and I'm just gonna save this as a JPEG file. And now to sell these as a digital download, you just need to go into your Etsy listings, hit add a listing, add that photo that we had just created. I'd also add some alternative photos, maybe some information cards, other things that can help a buyer make a decision. And then scrolling down, you're gonna, you're gonna fill out everything, including your title, your description, and then under type, we're gonna choose change this from physical to digital. And now scrolling down under digital files, you can upload that JPEG version of just your file, not the mockup of your file so that people can download it and upload it to their TV. This is another one of my finds that I wish I just had the time to open another store, but I have opened way too many stores in my life because I get too addicted to them when I create videos like this. So instead I'm sharing it with you guys who might have more time and are looking for an idea for their store. 